Hello Pisces and welcome to your September tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today and clicking on the video. So Pisces, make sure to like and subscribe and we're going to dive right in. So this is your September general tarot reading. I'm going to start as always by picking the general energy of this month. This is the support you can always come back to. Okay, Pisces. Oh, okay. You want to talk about support. Yeah, look at that. Look at who joined the party. The Empress. So, with the Ten of Swords. So, this month is going to be a lot about releasing and opening the door for something new or something that feels good for you. The Empress is a lot about our ability to receive something. And with the Ten of Swords, I know that you're going to be releasing something. There's this kind of natural end that happened. Something could have been really painful in the past for you. And it feels like there's more space in your heart for September. Feels, things feel more comfortable, let's say. The Empress is a really comfortable energy. Um, but sometimes the work that we do in Empress energy can be uncomfortable, of course, like any tarot card. Um, I like that. This is a Venus ruled energy, learning a lot about ourselves, learning a lot about our boundaries, our limits, and again, opening, making space for something to make us feel good. So it could be about love, work, it could be about anything. Let's see what the tarot has to say around that. Pisces for September 2022. Three cards wanting to come through. We have the Fool, the Page of Wands, and the Hermit. So beautiful. We are in Virgo season. I associate the Hermit card a lot with September. Um, with the Page of Wands and the Fool, this is literally infinite possibility. You've been dealing with what is in front of you. I feel like when I see this card, I know that you're focused on where your lantern guides you. So literally the next step. It's been too painful to focus on the past. Might have been too painful also to focus on the future and trying to predict so much. If you know me a little bit, you know I try to focus as much as possible on the present moment energy um, because we all have free will. So, yeah, sometimes we predict things with the tarot. That happens to me every day. But we all have free will. And the Fool and the Page of Wands is definitely a lot about that. So the Fool is the soul of the tarot. It's number zero. So it talks a lot about, again, infinite possibility. There is something that you have in you already. And it feels like the timing is right now to share it, to open about it, to um, see something. I feel like you're getting a lot of clarity about something. It's no coincidence that the sun is here on the full card. To me, this is a card of clarity. I don't believe that this is about the leap of faith like everyone says to me this is the moment before the leap of faith so there's still a lot you have to process you could be feeling like you want to start fresh start fresh sorry you could be having this calling of i wish i could reinvent myself i wish i could erase so many things from the past and just start from zero First of all, you don't have to reinvent yourself. I feel like it it kind of says that you're not good enough, that you're not enough as you are when that's total bullshit, you know? It's <laughs> you are complete, you are good enough, definitely. So you don't have to reinvent yourself, but I feel like you're giving yourself the opportunity to say, "You know what?" I'm not letting the past define me anymore. I'm not letting other people's mistake or the mistake I, I did and I've done in the past uh, define who I am. I can change whenever I want. And I don't feel like I'm the same person I was yesterday. 
there's a lot of growth, a lot of inner growth. And sometimes people around us don't notice that. I feel like you're kind of letting go of expectations. You're like, you know what? If I am trying to push all the time and drain myself to pl to meet other people's expectation, I'm just never going to be happy with myself. I need to focus on what's real, what's in front of me right now. What are the little things I can change in my day-to-day -day life? Little habits I can change. Little um, things I can add to my routine. Virgo season is a lot about that. You know, being really aware of every day. Okay, today I'm going to... I'm going to try to reach this really, really small goal and I'm going to celebrate myself um, and I'm going to give myself the time to slowly progress um, in the direction of what I want. There's a lot of, of course, slow moving energy and earth energy, but to me, that's a winner energy. It feels really good taking the time to transform, to check in and see what's good for you. Um, the Empress is a lot about that. You know, it's it's a card of self-love before anything. I'm able to give myself that care and love. And then the door opens for something new and it feels good. It feels less scary to say yes to whatever wants to come up. Again, infinite possibility. And the Page of Wands is a lot about respecting our own timing. It's not because things haven't been... As good as you hope they would be, that anything passed you by. You know, what is meant for you, it, it didn't pass you by. I feel like the timing could have been a little bit off. But September feels really good for new opportunities. What do we have here? Six of Cups, the Moon card, and it came in the reverse. And we have the Magician. Listen, a lot of major cards are coming through for you. And that's been happening for a couple months, uh, Pisces, in your readings. The magician is everything. You've been planting the seeds. You've been focusing on healing the Six of Cups and the moon in the reverse. And now it's time that you get clarity. September is going to be a time where your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors are going to be sending clear signs your way. With the infinity loop here on the top of the magician set, we're talking about an exchange of energy. You've been giving so much of your energy, so much of yourself into other relationship, project, maybe also in things that just didn't work out. And that could have been draining. This is the time where you're receiving back. And that brings a lot of healing and a lot of clarity. It's going to make you feel like you're on top of your game, like you're even more powerful than before. I think that you're just um, realizing, like really embracing your power. It's not that you're more powerful. It's just that you're embracing it, working with it in a different way. With the moon in the reverse, it's you getting out of your comfort zone. The moon is your card, one of your card. And when I see it in the reverse, I feel like we are done letting fear get in the way of our decision. Again, other people's expectation of you, it doesn't matter anymore. And yes, sometimes you're going to experience these feelings of, oh, shit, I could have done more. I feel like I disappointed this person. I feel like I could do this or that. It's okay if the feeling comes up, but I definitely feel like you're changing perspective when it comes to how much you've been trying to please other people with everything you do. Um, there's something about that also. I feel like you've been giving so much with the Empress and what happened. You've been accumulating uh, frustration, um, you know, karma, just heaviness energetically from other people. A lot of those swords don't belong to you. Look at that person. A lot of those swords don't belong to you. This is really important and it's coming through for a lot of you. So if you're into tarot, if the Ten of Swords has been coming up a lot, remember that. 
How many swords are you carrying that are other people's expectations, opinion uh, of you? And what I love about this card is that the sun is here on the horizon. And that's really important. Again, the sun is definitely important in your reading. We have the moon in the reverse. We have the sun in the fool's card. And we have the sun here on the horizon. So definitely you hoped for better days. And now they're here. I think that September is going to be... Um, it's going to be kicking you out of your comfort zone. But I think this is the right timing. Maybe in the past, it would have scared you to hear that. But I think that you're ready to be surprised by what the universe has in store for you. Which seems like a bunch of things. You know, the magician is everything. I don't feel like it's only one area of your life that will expand and change and transform. I think it's all of them. You know, your love life, your work life, your self-love, um, what's holding you, what's there in the present moment. I think that a lot of things are about to change. We have the Eight of Swords, Two of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Knight of Pentacles. You're definitely focused, again, on what is here right now, how you move in the world. You could have a lot of awareness when it comes to your body. Um how your body feels, how certain things you do make your body feel, um, how your thoughts have been maybe blocking you from taking a leap of faith or saying yes to yourself, starting something new. I feel like with the Eight of Swords, it's like you've definitely been overwhelmed and I feel like in the recent past, your thoughts have been controlling a lot of things that you do and don't do. Again, a lot of those swords don't belong to you. And with the two of pentacles in the reverse, this to me is definitely talking about focus. Focusing on what makes you happy. Focusing on one thing in the month of September is going to be really important. What is that thing that you've been kind of pushing aside. Do you have a goal? Do you have a dream? Is there something creative you've been wanting to work on? Um, is there something that has been blocked by fear or by negative thoughts or again, other people's opinion or expectation? Now in September, Virgo season, it's such an important month to finally let the seed grow. You know, when I say you've been planting the seed, it could be just by writing in your journal the dream that you have. It could be just sharing with your best friend. One day I, you know, I wish to become a writer. One day I wish I could sing. One day I wish I could uh, work in that type of company. You know, it doesn't have to be a big, big thing. And it could be anything. Maybe your, your dream is just to find someone that loves you back, someone that makes you feel good, experience some type of pleasure. Um, I feel like this is definitely the time where the seed will be growing. There's going to be some clear things happening, making you realize, oh shit, okay, this thing I always wanted, there's definitely a possibility that it it's becoming real. I can see it. I can feel it. Um, a lot of new beginnings with the magician. Again, it's not just one area of your life. I feel like there could be change in your love life, work life, personal growth, spiritual journey, and especially anything connected to creation. Okay, you creating something. So let's take the hermetic deck and I want to dive deeper. I want to know more about the fool and the magician. I want a clear message from the magician and the fool. What do we have here? Two cards. Page of swords and the four of wands. Okay, it could definitely be communication coming your way from someone that you consider a soulmate. Someone that balances you out. So uh, we're talking with the four of wands about Venus and Aries, which to me feels like opposite, you know? We have the Mars from Aries and we have the Venus, um, you know, that is just kind of opposite to me. But it, it feels like a perfect match. Nothing's perfect, but quote unquote perfect. 
This is the 1111 card also. There's a specific wish. Again, if your wish is around love, the month of September is definitely sending good news your way, sending clear communication. Um, the Page of Swords is the hero of the deck. There's this energy of, I made it, this thing I wanted, finally. I can see in my mind someone just jumping around and being so excited about a message, an email, a DM they're getting. So it could definitely be about love. Tell me more for Pisces. Tell me more for Pisces. Page of Cups. A lot of page here. Page of Cups and Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is exactly what I've been talking about. Not all those swords belong to you. So what are the stories that come from maybe your childhood? Comes from your inner child? Um, things that are coming up, you know, it could be something that happens to you every time you start a new relationship, every time you fall in love or every time you experience feelings around uh, a soulmate, a twin flame, a partner, there are definitely something that comes from your past that is like clearly connected to your inner child. Feelings coming up about not being good enough, not being pretty enough, not being this or that. I feel like you're letting go of that slowly but surely. You know, it takes a lot of work to finally let go. I think that awareness is definitely the first step here. Being aware of, okay, every time I receive an offer for a job, this is what I'm experiencing. Every time I get an email from that person I've been fighting with, this is how I feel. Notice the feelings that come up. Again, Virgo season is a lot about the body. It's a lot about the gut, the gut feeling, which is not spiritual, really. The gut is the second brain of the body. That's just biology. So how is your body making you feel? Notice that. Notice what is coming up for you when you're experiencing things that should be fun, should be appreciated, but for some reason you're kind of blocking yourself. I'm not um, pointing you out, you know, I'm, I'm definitely on your side, Pisces. I definitely have those experiences myself. We're all human beings, so this is normal things. The Seven of Swords is like, a slap in the face from spirit. It's like, you're good enough. You don't need to change anything right now. Come as you are. If that person makes you feel like you should change something about your body, change something about, you know, not only your appearance, but just who you are. If they make you feel like you're not enough or you're too much, well, definitely check in with yourself about that. I'm not telling you to cut off everyone and just, um, you know, ignore everyone and fight with the people you love. It's just that I feel like there's definitely a lot of feelings that are that have been coming up for you in waves, a lot of up and down energy. And sometimes you're like, I'm feeling so good right now. But I know that when something happened, I'm going to crash. There's like this really up and down energy um, in this reading. And the moon in the reverse, two of pentacles in the reverse to me talks a lot about that with the eight of swords. So notice, you know, you could be journaling or just um, talking to someone you care about, someone you feel safe with noticing when are you experiencing the most the ups and the downs um, because I feel like it, it's been happening a lot and it, it can become overwhelming to ride the wave you know I always talk about riding the wave of uncertainty which is something I truly believe Pisces is a master at because um, to me this is connected to the moon and the high priestess and you guys are the moon and the high priestess and the tarot so sometimes it's like we're exhausted to just ride the wave. We're exhausted. We're like, I don't know why I'm feeling that way. I don't know why this person gets to me so much. Why am I feeling so triggered when I open Instagram, when I receive a message from this person, or when I don't hear from this person? 
like make sure that you are aware of your boundaries and the things that make you feel good surround yourself with that you know if every time you open instagram or facebook you're panicking and your body is telling you no don't do this shit don't even look there maybe it's time that you take a break and that's easier said than done you know but that could be around anything um I'm, I'm, you know, I use social media as an example, but it could be really about anything. Tell me more. I want to know more about Pisces. Is there a clear message from the universe around the Hermit, the Six of Cups, and the Eight of Swords? One, two, give me another one. We have... The King of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Fool again. So the Fool is here two times. Again, I feel like this is a time in your life where anything is possible. Intuitively, you know that. Definitely your intuition is on point with the King of Cups. Seven of Cups to me is like, again, what I've been talking about. Really making sense out of our desires or just being aware of how our desires sometimes are controlling us. And what I love about the Seven of Cups the most is that the Eight of Cups comes after. So when I see this card in my personal um, you know, practice or in, in my personal readings I do with clients, it's like, oh, okay. There's an opportunity that's coming up and you don't even know it exists. Because in the Eight of Cups, you're leaving behind all of those seven cups. All the things you thought you wanted. All the things that you thought were good for you. Again, your, the things you desire, the thing you wanted. There's something even better opening up. And this is going to come in as a surprise. Again, right now with the full energy, there's a lot of mystery. You don't know what's coming up and you can't control it. So might as well surrender to it because it's definitely a blessing. I feel like not only you will get clarity about a situation, you will get new opportunities coming your way. Finally, enjoy the fruits of your labor. But you're kind of on top of your game in the month of September with the King of Cups. This is one of your power cards again. And King of Cups is like how you serve your community, your clients, the people who need you. Um, you're definitely born to change people's life, Pisces. And I say it all the time. You guys are just on another level because... You are the last sign of the zodiac. You carry on your shoulders so much. It's anytime I talk to a Pisces, I know it isn't your first life on this earth. You guys carry many, many lives uh, with you. And I feel like in September, there's going to be this opportunity to serve your community or your client or bring something out of you that could definitely change people's life and will therefore change your life again with the magician the infinity loop we're talking about the exchange of energy so i'm not saying that you're going to be giving again constantly and not getting anything back from now on all the energy you give away and your awareness of it is, is it's definitely coming back to you. There's something about good karma and it's going to be knocking at your door. And again, an opportunity, an option that you don't know exists right now. And that's going to be shocking in the best way, Pisces. I'm really happy for you. Okay, so let me pick an oracle card for you. <laughs> okay, Pisces. We have conclusions are within reach. I definitely feel like this is connected to the Ten of Swords here. The things that have been holding you back, holding you down, especially things from the past or people in your past, um, even in your present, you know, the things that just, it shouldn't follow you, come with you in the next half of the year. 
you're doing a lot of release and you're, you know, ending a lot of things and getting a lot of clarity about situations that have been kind of left in the unknown. Give me one more for Pisces. And we have a time for healing. I'm not surprised because the Six of Cups came through. Uh, Empress, which is a lot about healing. This is a time for healing. All the ups and downs you've been experiencing, this is all part of your healing journey. Again, I feel like your awareness is changing. Things are becoming clear. You could have been healing your inner child, reparenting your inner child. Like the page um, are a lot about the inner child, the fool also. And it came out two times plus three page here. So there's definitely something about that. Giving yourself the chance to reparent your inner child, which is not for everyone. <laughs> it's not everyone who's comfortable, who's ready for that. Uh, and I, I totally get that. I don't know. I feel like you're doing profound healing and you're definitely taking a step towards helping other people heal themselves. Anyway, a healing journey, it's never over. It's something that we, we experience our whole life. We're never completely done healing something. It just becomes a part of us, just like grief. We grow bigger around grief, but it always stays with us. So a lot of beautiful things energetically coming up for you, Pisces. And I'm really, really happy. So thank you for listening. Enjoy the month of September and we'll talk really, really soon.